Hey family, welcome back to my channel, The Pisces Way, a place where a Pisces made just for a Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising, and you already know it's your girl, Happy Sis Mar, and you already know how we do. So sit back and relax, and we definitely gonna get the tea for the Pisces, okay? Cross watches are definitely welcome, okay? Now we're gonna jump right in, sage our space, and do a quick prayer. Hi, Power Archangels, Ancestors, Gods, and Goddesses of the Divine White Light. Please protect me and my family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom. Always and forever, Hi, Power Archangels, Ancestors, Gods, and Goddesses of the Divine White Light. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the, se the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Happy new moon, family. Okay? So there's definitely going to be a new moon tonight, Pisces family. So definitely make all your wishes. Let's see. What's the current energy for you guys? Make sure you're protecting your energy tonight as well, family. Let's see. What is the current energy for my Pisces? What's the current energy for my Pisces high power? What's that death this up? We got thief in reverse. But I also heard thief in result. Somebody found out about a thief here. There's an interrogation or there was an interrogation. Somebody could have found out... Um, the energy of who was stealing from them at work, okay? Somebody here could be definitely a cross-dresser, okay? I'm also heard, hearing surrogate, sister wives. So somebody was carrying a baby for somebody else. Um, are these people were married to the same person or in a relationship with the same person? But somebody here was a cross-dresser and they were stealing. Number 33, they could have been dressing as an empress or trying to impersonate an empress here. Yeah, something trying to impersonate an empress, divine wisdom. You know, um, you could definitely be somebody. Um, I'm hearing the Lorax, I speak for the tree. So you definitely do some type of justice, some type of good here. You could definitely be into spirituality some kind of way. But I feel like whatever this was, though, somebody was trying to copy or mimic whatever it is that you were doing. Somebody was trying to take bits and pieces of what you were saying and make it and collaborate it and put it together. They could have also been stealing from other people, too, to make all one big story. This is a lot of research somebody was doing here. Okay, this thief has been found out. Yeah, they have been discovered. I'm also hearing something about a MasterCard. So they could have been found out about their, spend, their spendings or something that they were doing here, something backtracked. Even the police could have definitely had adjudication. The police could have asked somebody how they get the amount of money that they had or how was they doing something here. Oh, this person could have stole some money from you. Something you were doing at work. I don't know if they were depositing or they were doing something fraudulent here. Um, they could have been rewiring accounts. Yeah, past, present, future. Somebody was rewiring accounts here. They could have definitely had to go to jail. I mean, definitely had to go to court, or you had to go to court to deal with this person here. It's like you were working and you were doing something here. And I feel like your ancient wisdom, you you are somebody that's very wise. You had a purpose wherever you were working at. You, you knew it was a divine reason why you were working at that place. Somebody here was taking your ideas, your wisdom, Taking something, your knowledge for themselves. Um, and they were using it and they were stealing. This person could have some type of platform. Somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. The number 12 is very significant. I keep getting that. I feel like you're, I'm hearing freedom, freedom, I can't lose. Freedom, freedom. So I feel like somebody here is going to be let off some type of chains here. Something, some type of bondage. Now, for some, like, if you were dealing with somebody who stole from you, this is you being let off this bondage here because somebody was creating limits and boundaries by stealing from you. 
yeah, you're going to get some money here. Unexpected income. You don't even see this coming prices. Oh, might be a little too bright. But you don't even see something coming here with unexpected funds here. Um, yeah, discernment. I've seen behind that. So I feel like something's going to take for you to think on it a while. Or somebody might ask you to do something here. And you might have to stop and think like, oh, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, your per your perception here. Somebody could have pretended to be you. This could have been a couple doing this here with judication. Somebody don't want you to look at them like a thief, but they were a thief. They were stealing from you. Or they were stealing something that you created, giving you the best for me. But some of y'all, this is somebody who wants to come back into your life. This person has been set free from some type of restraints. Now, whether this person was having somebody steal from them or this person was stealing from you. Okay, we got special delivery and nobody, um, I was going to say nobody back baby in the corner. So maybe somebody took up for you for these people stealing. They could have stole from them. They could have stole from you. But we got let me cater to you because, baby, this is your day. Destiny's child energy. It's a life or death situation. Somebody feels like they have to do something good for you. They could definitely want to give you this money. Now, for some of y'all, this person stole from you, and they're coming to replace the money is what I'm getting here. Or they're replacing something that somebody else stole. Like, say, for instance, somebody else stole for you. This person participated, but they're coming to compensate in some kind of way. With that special delivery, that's definitely a gift here. They did you dirt coming out in the reverse. Oh, okay. So take it however it resonates. For some of y'all, they were stealing with somebody. And now, well, okay. For some of y'all, they were stealing with somebody and somebody's coming to pay you back. This person that was stealing with them from you could have stole from them, right? And so that's how this person could have ended up getting, you know, being in jail or whatever. But your person... A uh, man or woman, take out a resume, but your person here is repaying you back because they know how it feels now. Now, that's for some of you guys. I'm here a percentage, 20%, some of you guys. Now, for some of you guys, this person is coming back to pay you because they feel bad for what somebody else did to you. Okay? And now, for some of y'all, your person was getting somebody was stealing from your person okay and that it was a life or death situation here something got very serious something got out of hand in this situation here well whatever they was doing and with that they did you dirt this is something that you don't know about how out of out of control somebody was or how out of control somebody was getting out of hand whatever the fuck that they were doing somebody here could have a porn star site we got offering or sacrifice. Somebody here could have been making, somebody could have been, oh, my word. If y'all got, this is why this person feel bad. If y'all are somebody who been in a relationship with somebody and you might have sent them pictures or you might have did something inappropriate, maybe this person recorded you without your knowledge or somebody leaked into your pictures or your photos or something or somebody leaked into your person's pictures or photos that they had of you, screenshotted it, right? Could have uploaded videos and things of you of on the internet, but the face ain't in it. So I feel like this person, I'm hearing solicitation. I feel like this person is like out prostituting off your name or something. Or something, I'm here Hulu account. Somebody could have a, a Hulu account in your name. They could have used your name for all kind of shit, man. That's what that outrage is like. Getting something was out of order. Motherfuckers use your name for everything. Some y'all credit could be fucked up. Or this was or this was your person that was going through this. Cause I keep hearing that freedom, freedom. I can't lose. Somebody's been uh released here for some type of restraint. Something that's been holding holding them back. Somebody was unable to be, somebody was unable to heal from this toxic situation because of the Knight of Wands energy or being in this Knight of Wands energy because they had to deal with this or because of this betrayal that they caused on you. Yeah, the devil. So for some of you guys, um, somebody's dealing with a Capricorn, or you could have highly Capricorn, highly a Capricorn, highly aspect in your chart.
somebody was whether working with a Capricorn or participating. This was a routine. This was a cycle here. Somebody will break up, get back together, or somebody was, I don't know, they constantly find themselves helping somebody or being by somebody's side. You know, it's like not wanting to see your person, your friend or your family member or your coworker or, you know, somebody's really a good sweet talker. They come back and they talk, you know, and try to work their way back with or in somebody's energy because this don't have to just be a relationship. But for some of you guys, it is. With the higher fan and first here, somebody hadn't learned their lesson. They kept letting somebody sink them their teeth back into them. And it's causing this person to have to rebuild from everything. So, or you having to rebuild from everything. Because for some of y'all, like I said, somebody dragged you in the middle of some shit. And for some of y'all, um, it's really this person and their investments here. They having to start all the way back over from to scratch. I'm here. I cannot lose. When I'm with you, yeah, two cups, two cups. What's this two of cups here? Because we got the emperor in reverse and the queen of cups in reverse and the hierophant in reverse. Oh, this person had two relationships. For some of y'all, they was with you and with this person, and they feel bad about that. Um, they, they, they were consistent or they were used to doing stuff like that, having two relationships. And you know, you were just somebody that came along and they ended up doing the same thing with you, right? And this person that they were with, um, let's see. I'm here to convince them. Yeah, somebody's work somebody's working along now. They could definitely be single or they choosing not to work with somebody. They choose oh, they were somebody. I don't know. I feel like somebody do scams or frauds for a living or something. It's like somebody was down with something. I'm here. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. What up with OPP? See, it's what up with OPP. But I keep hearing you down with OPP, and you know OPP is the ops. So your enemy, somebody was down with your enemy. I feel like this was a job or some something here that somebody was doing. For a living, something something consistent. This was a routine, though. Somebody was doing something for the money, though. Um, having two relationships, y'all. This is this shit is weird. Um, with the Ace of Cups in reverse, and we got an injustice here with the High Priestess. For some of y'all, y'all was in a relationship with a, a man who was in a relationship with a woman who let them have other females to benefit money from them. Like, um, and they did the same thing. Um, they were with other men for money, and somebody here was with other women only for money here to see whatever they could get up out of this situation here. And for some of y'all, this person that they were with went completely out of control from trying to take from you. Um, and a lot of it was because of jealousy. And I feel like somewhere down the line, somebody did not want to keep doing it, but they had no choice. All right, that's that's where that getting out of control comes from. Yeah, somebody's not accepting an apology of a materialistic family that could have helped. Somebody found out about this materialistic family member, whether our family, whether this was your person's family, and they were cooperating with somebody that they were in a relationship with that helped them do this. Or this is your family and somebody that you were in a relationship with um, working together. But with the Six of Cups and the star here, somebody, um, somebody was led to believe. They followed the stars. They followed the traits, the signs, okay? Everything resonated. It, it, um, it was very significant here for you, Pisces. You put into it two together here with the past, past memories of what this. Now, this past could be family. And, like, it could be a memory here. Because somebody's not accepting somebody's apology. But there's a materialistic family here that you don't know about. You don't know about the cross watcher. Like, if you're the empress and this is about your emperor, then you don't know. If this is an emperor and this is about your empress, then you don't know. But with that think twice, guess again, IDK, what they thought. Somebody thought that they was going to pull the wool over your head. They thought that they had you in a bag. They thought something was simple here. But maybe it was their family who did something. It wasn't them. 
help this karmic do something. They were in on it together to steal or take something from you. But like I said, that they could have also did it with your did did it with your person. Like your person, they could have done this to your person too. And we got turn off. Hell no, I'm done. So somebody cut somebody off for this shit here. Somebody definitely cut somebody off uh, because of this lying trickery, this backstabbing manipulation. Let me cater to you because, baby, this is your day. Yeah, somebody's like, fuck y'all, y'all cons, schemers, plots. Y'all do all kind of dirty stuff behind the scene here. Now, maybe your person didn't know exactly what they were doing, but I feel like your person's not completely innocent because they could have definitely been in a relationship where somebody was in a relationship with somebody for money. A woman was in a relationship with another man for money or a man was in a relationship with another woman for money. But I feel like things got out of control because somebody tried to, because I'm hearing milk dubs, somebody tried to milk somebody. Like somebody tried to get all they were going to get out of somebody. Yeah, I love you, higher power, God, the divine. Somebody here got a warning from higher power what this family was trying to do here. They was trying to, like, I'm, I'm getting like they was trying to have, they was trying to do more than take from somebody. They was trying to have somebody in, in poverty. And this could also be um spiritually as well. Like somebody was, because I'm getting like, you probably feel like, well, what exactly could they take from me? You act like I'm a millionaire or something like that. For some of you guys, it's your destiny. You're supposed to be somebody great. Somebody wants to take that. Because I'm getting like a future reference type of thing. Like, um, and I'm hearing Bruno Mars, I want to be a millionaire. So freaking bad. And for some of you guys, like I said, this is your person who went through this here. Um, to try to take somebody's destiny, their heritage, something that was old to them. Okay, but for some of you guys, this they, they were trying to take this from you. Um, but like I said, I feel like your person here, they didn't exactly know what they were doing. I'm getting like bank fraud, bankruptcies. They didn't know what they were doing behind the scenes as far as that part. They they may have been guilty by dating two people at the same time. They did not know that this family here was doing some other shit. I'm here opening businesses in your name, all kind of shit, and in your person's name. Somebody had to go through, uh, if you haven't already, then you probably have to, couldn't have to go through a lot of legal shit to clear your name. If not, this is your person. Like I said, um, I'm getting like fake videotapes and all kind of shit being let out. We got want your attention coming out in the reverse. I want you to meet my family coming out in the reverse. So this person really wants you to, really wants you to say something to them. Mother's Day. They wanted to say something to you. Scorpio, Aries. Scorpio and upright Aries in the reverse here. Something significant could have happened. Somebody somebody could be trying to warn you of something or tell you about something. And they maybe didn't get a chance to do it because something had happened. They could have been trying to come towards you on Mother's Day or around Mother's Day. Somebody wants your attention. And with that, I want you to meet my family. This could definitely be I want you to meet I want to meet your family or I want you to meet my family. For some of y'all, let me see. For some of y'all, it was this karmic and their family. Because we got get back and we got midnight. So for some of y'all, it wasn't your person's family. It was the karmic family. And we got midnight and get back. Somebody planted something at midnight to get back at somebody. I keep hearing that Bruno Mars. Tell me how you really feel. She thinks she's all that penitentiary in jail. For some of you guys, somebody was planning to do something to you because somebody was coming towards you. This person could be going to jail or they are in jail. We got boo slash, we got base slash boo thing. Let's try a new thing. So I feel like somebody's going to get ready and come towards you. Um, Yeah, we got a Gemini or a Taurus. Okay, you could be dealing with one or you could... um. Have that highly aspect in your chart, or something could be significant about May. They could have also tried to come to you, um, towards you during May. Somebody could have really tried to hurt you because this person wants to be in a relationship with you, or these family members did this because this person wants to be in a relationship with you, and they are definitely going to jail here. And with this, let me find out you mad coming out in reverse. Somebody's hoping that you are not mad about something here. Um, that you'll be a little bit easy on them. Um, that's why that perception is coming out up here, number nine here, because I feel like number nine talks about 
releasing, okay? Uh, well, eight talks about releasing. Nine talks about persisting, standing your guard. Um, I'm also hearing overwhelming. Somebody hoping that you don't, you know, that you are lingering with them, though. Like, that you break them a piece of cake or something. I'm hearing break me off a piece of that Kit cake bar. And you know how they be like, no. But I'm getting that commercial that says, you need a moment, take it over with Twix. I feel like you're going to have to think about some shit like, wow, really? For some of y'all, there's court cases and shit that was going on and you ain't even know about it. I don't know if somebody couldn't get in contact with you or something. It could have definitely had something to do with money, with that generational wealth. Yeah, and they ain't got nothing on you. Somebody bad, man. Somebody feels like you the best. They ain't got nothing on you. That's why they were jealous, and that's why they were doing everything that they did here. But unfortunately, your person did know about it. For a while, they couldn't say nothing about it. For a while, they couldn't say nothing about it. And for a while, there was like an uh, um. And what I mean by they couldn't say nothing about it, they they had something going on with themselves. Their conscience starting to beat them, started to beat them up. Okay. At first, they were witnessing shit going on, and they wasn't really saying anything. But then again, they didn't know how big things had got. But once they found out how big things had got. I feel like this person found out that they were also under attack here. So, I mean, they felt bad about that. You know, they got done wrong. You got done wrong. Yeah, I'm hearing I did you wrong. You did me wrong. Now, like I said, for some of y'all here, this person did know. This person did know what was going on. But, like I said, something still got out of hand, though. Something still still got way too way out of hand for some of y'all this person is only sorry because they caught got caught i'm hearing rihanna but you put on quite a show really had me going yeah somebody here was a pretender the whole time like they was they was fake up in your face Curtains finally closing. Yeah, you finna get some bad news about that. And it's finna have you real cross. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, you stood up here and was with these motherfuckers, but it, it wasn't until they started scamming you or you found out that they were paying you is when you started to feel bad for me. Honestly. That's that's where this person is at with it. And they want to come back. Because they feel bad, but they want to treat you some type of way. Somebody here is facing judgment. This King of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups, these people who did this shit, oh, they could be wanting to let you know that. Like, just let you know these people are facing judgment. They do owe you an apology, too, though. Not celebrating this King of Cups in reverse. Who is this King of Cups in reverse, higher power? This person that's up in their head that's coming to release these boundaries here of what the fuck they done did. Three of swords, getting over some type of heartbreak. Or you're getting over the heartbreak of this person. What's this three of swords here? Uninspired, delayed conversation, not manifesting, or a fucking magician. And we got the death here. Somebody did not have a desire to come and have this conversation with you. They were just going to rebuild. Oh, wow. They didn't even. For some of you guys, this person, they were heartbroken by whoever that did this to them. So they didn't even want to come talk to you. They didn't want to come say nothing to you. They just wanted to move on with their life here. But they participated with this person when it came to them doing this to you, though. But when it happened to them, they just wanted to move on and not think anything about it no more. Like, oh, yeah, they, 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 you know, I feel like in a way they feel like you got your justice, but only because they got theirs. So this is somebody here. When they start looking into these people and investigate them, then they brought your name up. Yeah, Eight of Cups, when they walked away. When they walked away from them, these people doing them some type of way. Or for like I said, for some of you guys who they didn't participate in, didn't but it, it was when when these people did them wrong is when they thought about you though to be that they wanted to be with you. They came out of some illusion that they really loved you. They walked away from investing in something here, so I guess they did have an opportunity to keep doing something, but they decided to do 
needed to go other elsewhere. They decided to be stingy. Now, for some of y'all here, let me see. I kind of want to pick a high power. Because I am getting three different storylines, y'all. Stay with me. Don't get confused. I guess. All right. Now, for some of y'all, they, like I said, for some of y'all, they didn't know what was going They did know something. Like, they was um responsible for dating two different people at the same time, and they had their motives. But for some of y'all, like I said, they didn't know exactly what was going on. When they found out what was going on, they had a chance to invest and they didn't um they did it they walked away from it okay which could have caused some bad tension up on them meaning these people turned on them and started to try to do stuff to them now that's for some of you guys and for some of you guys here with the nine of cups in a um a gift here this person they could have had they could have known what was going on right the schemes the problems whatever but what ended up happening was some, some shit was getting way too far, and they feel like it was out of order. They started to feel bad about you, or they kept reminiscing about you. They they were starting to feel like they were falling in love with you, okay? And then in the midst of that, the people could have been like, come on, come on. Come on, let's do it, or whatever. Let's do the deed, or whatever. Like, um, something that they had to invest in with the Seven of Pentacles. Something that they haven't had to invest in, but they didn't. So the people told them, like, yeah, let's invest in this. I need you to put your money up with this. I need you to go half on this. I need you to do this. And they was like, nah. They walked away from it with the Eight of Cups. They walked away from it. And it caused a whole lot of stipulation for them again. Either way it went, though, it caused stipulation for them. Like, they ended up, yeah, they ended up dealing with a whole lot of bullshit with these people. And they keep coming up as the four of wands in reverse, meaning like some situations for this person is not healed. They're still hurting. We got the world here, but I feel like all of this is closed out. This is no more. They, they tend to come tell you about this, but this is no more. You are going to have to sit down and really think about it here and really call the shots on how you think about this shit, how you feel about this. We got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse here. They also got their bad luck by making this bad choice here. So when these people turned on them and started doing shit to them, or for some of you guys, some of this, some of you guys, their family, their family was involved, but in a different situation. And your family could have been doing stuff as well. Like, if you're a divine feminine, this is what I mean. Look, because we got the empress here. You automatically don't come out as the empress. And they, um, yeah, they left you out, out in the cold here. And you were they good luck. You were the good luck charm, and they left you out in the cold. But if you're the empress here, what I mean is you could have people in your family member that's spiteful that does not want you to move on or be in a happy relationship here, a committed relationship here, and they don't have no idea who your person is. They're just manifesting that you always be single, that you always be depressed and miserable and you never find love. Now, for the divine masculine, and, and like these could be baby fathers as well, ex-husbands, exes, whatever. Now, for divine masculine, it's the same thing. You could have definitely had a family and your family did not want you to move on. This is separate besides these other people. So for some of y'all, okay, I'm getting like all three of y'all. Well, all three of y'all, damn. I'm getting like both the divine master and divine feminine and had a lot of people up against them. You had, for some of y'all, more than others. But I feel like there was two different situations. You had like an ex or exes. For some of y'all, divine feminines, you had like two exes or two people two male figures that could have been doing things with their family or with other people in the background along with your family. For Divine Masculine here, you could have had friends and uh, ex-lovers teaming up together doing shit against you, and you could have also had your family doing things against you. Now, this don't have to all be spell, spell work, right? Buffa could just be manifesting your downfall, manifesting death on you, manifesting... Um, manifesting sickness on you okay somebody definitely manifested death on somebody or they could have done some magic some real life magic here and somebody here i feel like this is divine masculine was heartbroken because there was a uh, and they delayed a conversation to have with the divine feminine because they found out like people were actually trying to kill them 
Okay, and Divine Feminine, I feel like you haven't even found out all this shit yet. By the time all the news gets to you, it's going to be about over, honestly. You're going to be like, what? Like, it's like, you know how people like, you slept through that? You know how people be like, you really slept through that? You know how you, it's, it's a whole war going on, fire and everything going on, and you sleep. I feel like not a hair got touched on you, Divine Feminine. I honestly feel like you walking out graceful. You like, damn. I feel like people looking at you too. Like, just imagine a big explosion and you just walking through the middle of it. And everybody like, she don't see that explosion. She don't see what's going on. It's not that you didn't care. You didn't know what the fuck was going on. I feel like you don't you you really didn't know what was going on. Like, you probably knew something. You probably knew some people was targeting you. You probably knew this and that and that. But for some of y'all, Divine Feminine, you was extra extra protected. Because for one, this person was doing stuff to you. You had a lot more people coming against you. That's for one. And that's more reason why they feel guilty. And for two, now, nah, whoever not deal with that situation with their partner coming in. Um, now, for two, Divine Family, I feel like you was just actually protected because this was divine timing. Like, it's something about, for you, Divine Family, it's actually a gift. That's why that nine of cups came out here because you ain't do nothing but they didn't do nothing but raise your stakes, raise your psychic abilities, raise your um spiritual gifts. That that's all they did really. All the magic, all the trickery, the fuckery, all that shit backfired. And so now your discernment is ten times strong. Now your power is ten times strong. Your healing power, your light, your angels is walking side by side with you everywhere you go. Like you're double protected. It's like it didn't do nothing but make you even more blessed. Like you're double protected. Your awareness is so on point now. Your discernment is so much on point now. And for some of you guys, it's divinely orchestrated because whatever you're going to be getting into from in this next chapter here is going to definitely align you, right? You're going to already be aligned here. It's like stepping right into whatever this is. And I'm hearing like stepping right into your divine purpose because whether you're going to have the knowledge, you're going to be, you, you're going to be very observed. To, it's like, Tuning you up a bit. This ain't do shit, but tune you up. Okay, Divine Feminine? Yeah, with that Empress energy coming out here. You embodied all four queens. This ain't do nothing but make you a real Empress. I'm hearing, don't push me because I'm close to the edge. I feel like you, Divine Feminine, you somebody that really would snap out. But you don't. You try to stay peaceful about everything. You try to stay nonchalant about everything. You try to stay cool and collective. But... I feel like deep down inside, you are tired of all this. Are you ready for something to be over? But at the same time, you already know you finna boss up. You like, you you know this already, Divine Feminine. You like, I'm Divine Feminine. Now, these people really did push you up a notch. When all this shit started, you probably was not the Divine Feminine. You probably were close. Sorry to get thrown all down. You, were, you probably were close. You probably was like a Queen of Swords or... Uh, queen of wands here you know very attractive things like that are very discerning things like that but when or, or you could be the queen of cups very loving whatever this is but i feel like whatever this is the situation had it's gonna push you into really being the empress like upping a level to where it's like you're aligned all your chakras you're aligned with all the queens and for some of you guys that's the high priestess energy as well too your psychic abilities is been heightened it's gonna fly through the roof or it already has you could definitely be already witnessing that if you've already noticed that but let's get a couple of zodiac signs and we're gonna pull some alphabet because i did say i was gonna put some alphabet for you guys this week noel go take a nap oh you did put it together Go take a nap, though. You taking a nap. What's going on? Who's in my water family energy? We got cancer. Or you could be a cancer. Okay. Or you got cancer in your chart. Libra. We got a Scorpio coming out in reverse. So whether this could be somebody that you already know they sun sign and you don't know that they standing in a Scorpio energy. Or this could be a Scorpio you have no idea about. And we have an Aries here. And we have a Capricorn here. Bottom of the deck, we got Gemini in reverse that you don't know about. Or you know this person, but you didn't know that they were in the middle of some shit. Okay. 
whenever it's in reverse, it's whether you don't know this person at all or it's somebody hiding in that trait. So motherfucker might have, like, even if we talk about another Pisces, you might have Pisces facing the sun, moon, and rising, but you're in another, You it could be you and your Scorpio energy, honestly, if you, you know, take it however it resonates. Some alphabets and see what we get. Let's get some alphabets for Pisces. Let's get some letters for Pisces. In a minute, no way. I told you go take a nap. Let's get some letters for Pisces. We got letter R. I'm hearing Raymond, Raymond, Randall, Rudolph. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Something could be significant about Christmas time. Had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would have let it glow. Somebody could have picked on you because you are different. All of the other reindeer used to like to call him names. They never seen what grew up on them. Or somebody could like the Christmas time. But somebody here could have did something towards you because you were different. Because um, you were unique. We got the letter R. So this could be, we got the letter S. I mean, this could be Smith. Somebody could be a Capricorn. Somebody could be an Aries. This person with this S. I'm hearing Lion Gate. I'm also hearing Hell Razor, and I'm hearing Hell Blazer. Somebody could definitely be going to hell. I'm just telling it like it is. Hey, look, we had an H. H is at the bottom. Um. My name could be Sean or Chandra. I'm getting that one movie, Chandra, Chandra. That's um. Now I'm hearing by I swear by the moon and the stars and above I'll be there. But what I'm getting is somebody tried to overplay that though. Somebody is doing something here. Some illusion, some masking energy. Virgo could be significant, like, you know, it could be like, you could say, so if you're dealing with a twin or a high level soulmate, somebody could be telepathically speaking to you, but then it's another person that's doing it too. It could definitely be two people, or it's people that chime in to cause you confusion. Because I'm getting, um, uh, Chandra, um, uh, from. From um, what the fuck is that? Not all about the Benjamins. Don't be a not all of not not don't be a menace. But all these movies can res definitely resonate with you. Um, the movie with the the white boy, and he was acting black. Is it all about the Benjamins? No, that's all of, all about the bitches with Ice Cube. Um, dang, Malibu most wanted. Thank you, higher power. Malibu's most wanted. Malibu's most wanted. So I feel like I don't know. Maybe this is you. It could definitely be symbolic for you because he didn't understand why everybody was doing all of that. Like for money, you know what I'm saying? Even his dad was plotting, but his dad didn't know the whole plot about having him kidnapped. That was some other shit. His coat. The dad people cooked up, and then they failed at doing that. He didn't have no idea, though. He didn't even know, because I'm hearing Chandra, Chandra. Yeah, y'all definitely could have been involved with somebody who was in on it at first. And then they tried to, because, like, it could have definitely been something that was really big that they were planning to do to you, because they were planning to scare him. They were planning to scare him. That was the thing. They were going to scare him. So he didn't want to be hood no more, basically. So somebody could definitely been doing something to you to make you shut up or because they didn't want you to say nothing or do something anymore. They want to scare you out of something and, and make you not believe something. Or that's what they told this other person. Because remember, he had his cousin, um, Chandra, her cousin was the one who was in on it. And these motherfuckers was pretending. Whoever you dealing with that trying to scare you or trying to do some shit, they really... They scary as a bitch or something like that. They can't even handle what the fuck they dished out. Cause y'all remember how the um 
If y'all ever seen the movie Malibu from Mom Honey, y'all remember how the, the the guys who did all that shit to uh um dude, the white boy, who they was really scared. Like, you know what I'm saying? They were really more scared than um they were they were scared. You know, they were scared to rob the bank. They were scared to do everything. They was pretending. I mean, girl. Changing hair and all that. How probably showing me how somebody really went through a whole lot of extra strength. Like extra they went through a whole lot to try to be you or act like you. I'm getting fake hair. I'm getting well, I'm getting lashes, fake lashes, or they did something. They it's like these people was mocking everything. Cause I'm getting like people dressing up to play the part. Really undercover. And and you remember Chandra, she was who she said she was, but she was in on it with them. And she was, and then at the end, she was supposed to, you know, seduce him or whatever, and they were supposed to come in. And uh, you remember all that shit? Uh, but she ended up liking him. And you remember, I keep getting a little rat, and I keep getting that imprisonment card. The little rat, and you know, when Snoop Dogg came in, he was a little rat. He was like, they trying to play you. He said, none of this is bad. Then he shot his foot. Look, the little rat. Imprisonment. This is you. You you was in this prison. You ain't even know it, though. I feel like you didn't even know it, Pisces. You ain't even know that you were in this prison. You like, what? None of this is real. What you mean? You know, when the little rat came and told you, like, for some of y'all, this your person could have been energetically telling you, or this finna be your person coming towards you, like, you know, all this stuff was happening because of this and that and that and that and that, and they was in on it at first, woo 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 like, having a real, really come tell you the truth. Because at the end, the dad felt bad. He didn't, I think he did end up winning governor or mayor or something. It was something about image and publicity, the reason why he did that to his son in his first place. And they was rich. And I feel like that's symbolic too. You don't know how rich you are. Or you don't know how high honor you are. You know, like them, the, the, the people that was in the hood that was doing that, they were doing it for the money because they needed it. Somebody here, you are wealthy. I don't know if you know it or you finna be. People could definitely be trying to put a mark on your head because you have a lot of money attached to you. It's your, um, your spiritual inheritance. And I know a lot of people are like, well, am I supposed to get it by doing spiritual work? It could be. It doesn't. It, that doesn't mean that. You could walk down the street and find you some money. Shit, you could meet you a person and find you some money. Y'all can go into business together and find you some money. You might go into whole business that had nothing to do with spirituality and get you some money. You feel me? You might not even get no money. You might get a house. You might get a car. You might get wisdom. You might get um, not you know, a, a knowledge, abundance, mortality. You don't know what you might get, um, but it's old to you. And these people were trying to take it. We got P and M. I'm getting like Master P energy. Somebody could have like younger kids, or somebody could be like an uncle. I'm getting that movie with Master P when he was taking care of his sister kids because she was sick. His sister kids, cause um she was sick. But we got PM. Something could happen at nighttime. RM. I'm also getting restroom. Something could happen in a restroom or at a restroom. Somebody is a public stalker. PMS public. Public. I'm getting like public affection, public display. But PMS, yeah. PMS. What is that? That sound familiar. Hey Siri, what is PMS? Premenstrual syndrome, PMS, is a combination of symptoms that many women get about a week or two before their period. Okay, so somebody could definitely be going through with that. We got the letter Z and the letter G. Now I'm hearing zebra, zip it. I'm hearing like somebody tried to zip. Or try to shut somebody up. I, I I said that though, but I'm also getting like your ancestor too. They could have been trying to silence your ancestors. I'm getting like silent library. Somebody could like that sh that show, or somebody here was trying to silence your ancestors. Here we got the letter G, giraffe. I'm also hearing giggle, Mr. Giggles, the Wiggles. Somebody could have younger children 
Somebody could also like have the wiggles or the giggles. They can't stop moving here. Somebody could be hyperventilating. It could be having an asthma attack. Somebody here, you know how they be like, ants, ants, ants in your pants. No, it's squirrels in your pants. This is somebody who is real antsy. They can't stop moving here. They got their skin is crawling literally because of all the shit that they were doing here. Somebody could be trying to come to you around your menstrual time or after your menstrual time when you're ovulating. Or that's what they that's what their plan was. Um uh, we got ice cream, ice kingdom. I'm also getting Elsa. Somebody's cold hearted. Are they were cold hearted? I'm getting hurt people, hurt people. You know how Elsa she ran away because she was cold and she didn't know how to stop making everything cold. I feel like this was how somebody did. They could have ran and hide after they fucked you over or fucked over a whole lot of bullshit. They fucked over something and they ran and hide with their hands stuck between their they legs, their tail stuck between their legs. We got O, the letter O. I'm getting Ogrophy. Okay, y'all, higher power, come the fuck through. I'm getting Ogrophy. Nikki Parker, look at N, look. Nikki Parker, hey, the fifth all of me. <laughs> Don't let me know. <laughs> Don't let me find out, bro. Because don't let me find out. Somebody, you know how he like, ew. Like, he used to be so mad. He's like, hey, Professor Ogilvy. She used to always try to come for Professor Ogilvy. You know what? Hold on. Because for, for some of y'all, y'all finna try to say it. it. It definitely was a runner cat and mouse game going on. Somebody was running and chasing for somebody more than they was for the other person. So somebody definitely could have been Professor Ogilvy and somebody definitely was Nikki Parker. No matter your gender, your race, you could have thought about this after the relationship. Like, damn, I really was doing bending over backwards for a motherfucker. I really was doing this. I really was doing that. This is what high power is showing me now, though. I don't know if y'all watched all the seasons of Professor uh, uh, the Parkers, but don't y'all know a good man came to Nikki Parker. Miss Professor was doing all that shit. A real man, a good man. He wanted to marry her. Wasn't nothing wrong with this man. Nothing. Nothing was wrong with this man at all. And y'all, it's so crazy because I find myself a while back watching just binge watching the parkers i don't know why i do not know why i went on netflix put it on and was watching it episode by episode literally i don't know why but i was and at the end professor ugly was breaking his motherfucking neck because she was moving on when i say y'all he was really depressed if y'all if y'all think i'm not gonna watch them last episode when the when the season was getting ready to close he was in his feelings. He even crashed her wedding. It was like, you can't move on. Girl, why she left with that man? Why she left with Professor Ogilvy, the one who was doing all that shit to her and it was acting like he didn't love her. All the reality he loved, he really wanted that attention. When he thought about it, he was like, damn, she was always there. Y'all remember Kim, I mean, Miss Parker, she was doing everything. Every time he was sick, she was there. He, she was annoying him, but he was there. She was there to take care of him, make him meals, do all this, all that. He was really there for that man. He was annoyed by her and kept closing the door on her face. Didn't want nothing to do with that, right? He was worried about all the other females, right? She, she moved on. He was like, what? She even told him, too, like, y'all got a new man. Ooh, girl, and not, he and not Professor Ogie been jealous of her new man, too, like, Girl, but when I say she did, look, double in. I'm here, double confirmation for some of y'all. That's crazy. Look, another in. Wow. So for some of y'all, that's definitely significant here. Okay. Um, the roles are definitely reversed. But that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl, High Priestess Mar. I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Send the love and light. Till next time, family. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, that subscribe button, and that share button, okay? Notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. I love you guys, and I will definitely catch you in the next one. Till next time, family. Peace, love, and prosperity. Bye.